And I'm your host, Diane Andrews. Thanks for joining us today. I'm not in my usual attire. Hey, we're ready to rumble, we're ready to roll, and we're ready to get in shape. So this is going to be a show on fitness, on how to eat properly, how to get yourself better. I have hired a physical trainer, and I want everybody to share in the information that I've learned. So we're going to be doing some exercises for you today. I'm going to tell you why physical trainers are so important. I never knew. I've only had them for a couple of weeks, but I've seen the difference. And I'm pretty good at exercising somebody. It makes a difference when there's someone there with you to help guide you and change your exercises a couple of days a week. So come on back to Diane Andrews in black and white. And we're going to help get you in shape too. back to Diane Andrews in black and white and getting yourself physically fit. Sitting with me today I have Patrick Allen. He's the owner of Iron on Iron Mobile Fitness. Thanks for being with us today. Yes, yes. thank you. I have to tell you how I met Patrick. It was through Facebook. He followed my show on Facebook and yes. he made some comments and I said, wow, I need a physical trainer. Last year during COVID, I noticed, if I never stopped doing shows in studio. We mitigated, we did the six foot apart, which now we're finding out only had to be three feet because Fauci said six feet, and the World Health Organization always said three feet, and that caused students not to be able to go back to school because of the, 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 the distance that he was saying. But anyway, so I, the first show I did in March, because I started in March with the shows I was doing on COVID, because I thought, hey, this is what I'm supposed to do to educate people on what's really going on in COVID. And we know I wrote the book on COVID that's about to be on Amazon. But uh, by May, I, st I saw a little rib in the back here, and I said, wow. And I, I'm pretty... I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty disciplined, too, about educating, yes. about, uh, about uh, exercising. So and I have Fuji, and he's here with me. I have to walk him every day. And about two or three times a week, I would uh, do 10 or 15 minutes, something on the Internet or, or uh, my hula hoop. And, but then I said I really wanted, I'd heard people talk about how great physical fitnesses were, and then fit, fitness managers were. And then I called in. I've only been going a couple of weeks, but I tell you, I see why people have physical trainers. Because what it does, what it keeps you on the straight and narrow. It makes you, he changes what I do. Uh, the, I, I have you a couple of times a week. Yes. And he, what he, he makes sure I don't use those same muscles, you know, each time. And he right. changes the exercises. Right. They keep the pace up. At the end of the day, they're experts in this. Yes. And we're not. Yes. So tell us, how did you get into physical fitness? I know you were a linebacker in college. Right. Uh, you went to school in Kansas. I think you told me that. Yes, yeah, so when I started out, I mean, I liked, I liked to um, work out. I liked to lift weights. Um, before it started with high school, mm -hmm. football, middle school, I, I just liked to work out, exercise. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it carried, it carried over. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's, what I, that's where I'm at now. Okay. Yes. But you, you went to college at the University of Kansas, was yes, it? Yes, ma'am. And you played football for two years, right? So yes. you were a linebacker. So you had a dream that you wanted to play football. That didn't materialize, so you came back to, to Louisiana. You yes. missed home, you said. So you came on back here. And then coming back here, I think you told me you worked at the Y as a personal trainer for a while. Yes. And then how, how long ago did you start on your own, take that leap to, to, to build iron on iron? I, I started, I, I think I started like five years ago. Mm -hmm. Started. Um, on my own. Now, where are you now? In I'm, Spectrum? I'm in Spectrum it? Fitness, oh. 3103 Monterey Drive. Mm -hmm. Spectrum Fitness, I'm, my business is on the inside of Spectrum. Now, how do they contact you? Uh, they can contact me with, um, by my number, 225-442-2959. So, 
tell me now, how do you uh, think people should approach, let's say they're really, I'm not really over, I want to firm up some stuff, you know, some fat arms up here in the back, fat and stuff, uh, and the thighs, tighten them up, you know, but I don't have to lose that much weight, you know. Tell me what you tell people who are maybe, let's say, 20 pounds overweight. Uh, I ask them what their goals are first, mm -hmm. and, um, and we'll go from there, and they tell me, okay, well, I want to I lose weight. Okay, you want to lose weight. Okay, the first thing you got to start with is for us eating healthy. Mm -hmm. You got to stop eating all the fat, greasy food that we like down south. Mm -hmm. You know, we got we to gotta start eating healthy food, mm -hmm. you know, for, for the loose weight. Mm -hmm. Do you suggest to them uh, a menu or anything? Have you gotten that far into the physical fitness Yes, I actually really want, a, want a, meal, a meal plan, and, and we'll go from there. Oh, so you do plan some meals for them. Tell me if I wanted to lose 20 pounds, what you would tell me, eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, your, um, your, your, the first thing you'll eat for is your breakfast is, it's oatmeal. I know a lot of people don't like it. I hate it. <laughs> My mama used to love oatmeal. I love oatmeal cookies when it's cooked, but I can't stand oatmeal sloppy looking. Yeah, mm. hey, it's, it's good for you. It's very, I know. It's very healthy. Yeah, it is. I always say the, um, the food that tastes and smells bad, it's good for you. And it lowers cholesterol if you have high cholesterol. That's right. Yeah, my mama used to take it for eating That's whatever right. she liked it. And I guess people put honey in it and bananas. Right. Just, to I give don't like the way flavor. it looks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you want to you want to be able to eat like small meals through the day. Yeah. The more I've understand, I, I've read that when you're on a diet, you should eat three real meals, but also two snacks in between. Right. 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 That's right. You want to eat your small meals throughout the day because for your for your, with your last meal, you don't want to overeat. Mm -hmm. So that's why you eat, your, eat um, all through the day, small meals. Because at night you're going to bed and that turns into fat, right? That's right. So you don't want that's right. to that's overeat right. at night. What do you tell them like as the, the small portions between their regular meals? So breakfast, okay, let's go back to breakfast, I eat some nasty oatmeal. <laughs> and then <laughs> what do I eat for in between lunch okay, and breakfast? Like, like for a small meal you want to eat like maybe a protein, have a protein shake or protein bar. Mm -hmm. Then you um all depends on when you eat again for it with your lunch. You eat like a little small meal, maybe um I like tuna fish. Mm -hmm. You know, you eat some tuna fish for like for lunch. Then you eat another small. Is meal. it okay? I mean, I try to make it if I'm you know me and I'll tell you I'm all, I'm all very disciplined. Since I was 15 years old, I get on a scale a couple of times a week, or if my dress feels tight. I've been pretty much the same size. Maybe the heaviest ever is like eight pounds more yeah. my entire life because I would always get on the scale. And, and right. if I see that day or that week that I've gained some weight, I stopped eating, I cut back, I started yeah. eating salads. And, and that's why I've never let it get out of hand because I pay too much, like the red bottom shoes I wear. I yeah. Get, yeah, I got to get some red bottom <laughs> tennis next time, yeah. And uh, you know, the dresses and stuff, uh, the shoes have nothing to do with weight, but I was just joking, I pay a lot for, I've always loved clothes, so you don't want to have to give them away because you can't right. wear them anymore. Or either put them in the closet. A lot of people tell them they put them in and say, I'm going to get back to it, but they start buying bigger sizes. Yeah. And then you let it get out of hand. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. And then what do you do? How do you go from, like, let's say you're a four and then at the end of the year you're a ten. So you've had to buy all these different sizes right. to wear That's the right. entire time. That's a waste yeah. of money. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah, you, you always want to try to exercise to walk throughout the year, throughout the um, month, mm -hmm. weeks, however you want to do it. You want to how, how often should you exercise a week? At least three, at least three times a week, mm -hmm. at least. What about people like I've heard Debbie Allen, the great uh, black dancing choreographer, she you know, said she would exercise four hours a day dancing, you know, yeah. because she's practicing, which is exercise, her right, dance. Right, right, right. Michael Jackson, as good as he was as a vocalist, he still would dance, practice dance, and had coaches. Yeah. Even, uh, you know, before, before he passed, I guess the, the better you are, the better you have to stay and the better you want to become. Yeah, you, you always want to get better at your, at your craft. Sure. Do you still exercise? Yeah, I always, I always Not always only exercise. exercising us. Yeah, I always exercise. I mean, that's just like I, I say I want to do an hour, I end up doing two or three hours. You love exercise. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. I love it. Uh -huh. I love it. So, I, just, I mean, I just like you say, Debbie Allen, she, she uh, danced for four hours. I mean, yeah. that's her craft. Yeah. So she want to get better. Right. And better before she can help others. And she's a little tiny lady like me. She's only about 5'2", and she's short, and she's still a tiny size, you know, yes. like, like I am pretty much. But uh, so we, we had that snack bar, and now we're going to have lunch, and what are you, tuna fish is what you eat for lunch. Yes. Do you put mayonnaise in it, or do you use olive uh, oil? What do you put? Uh, sometimes I put, I put olive oil, 
most of the time I just eat it straight. Straight, no yeah, uh, I don't, I don't egg. Put, don't put nothing in. I like eggs and protein. That's pretty good. To yeah, put it's in pretty, it's okay. pretty good. But I mean, I, I just don't put anything in it. Nothing. I can't right. eat it like that. <laughs> I'm putting something in mine. I even put nuts in my salads. I love to uh, my walnuts, which is uh, a a. Um, what do they call it? It's one of the top ten uh, superfoods, a walnut oh, yeah. is. I love yeah. walnuts. I used to could find an ice cream, which <laughs> you shouldn't be, but I love ice cream, <laughs> called black walnut. I don't see them, and they were black walnuts. Where can you I, find I heard, that now? I heard you know? I heard you never of, heard of it? I mean, I heard of it, but I, mean, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't it. see it anymore. I used to, when I was a yeah. little girl, love black walnut ice cream. So, okay, now I've had the, the tuna. Uh, what about a grilled salmon or something for dinner? Well, yeah, that, that's, I mean, that's fine. I mean, um, you, like I said, you still want to eat that snack. Mm -hmm. Got to have okay. that snack in between So in what's between a good afternoon meals. snack? Uh, I'm, I'm going to say uh, like a, you want a protein shake uh -huh. because throughout the day you want to put that protein in your body. Uh -huh. You want to have that protein. It all depends on when you work out. And you see, take your protein after you finish working out. Because I don't eat uh, red meat and stuff. I'm very anemic, so I'm not getting as much protein as I need to get. But yeah. I take a bunch of vitamins and stuff. Yeah, you, Remember you, I had that sore shoulder? Right, I've been taking right. that magnesium. Remember we talked yeah. about magnesium last week? Right. When you're over there, and I've been trying to massage it on that little chair I have. Okay. And um, it's not nearly as bad as it was. I slept wrong one night, and that this whole half of my shoulder was frozen. It was terrible. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, but now, and I started, people don't know there's a, uh, I was in healthcare for years and there's a magnesium calcium pump in the body and they yeah. kind of relate to each other because magnesium helps get that calcium keep out of the, the cells. Isn't that lactic acid right. and stuff yeah. help you get that's that right. pain? That's right. Yeah. So, okay, so that's one day. What would I eat the next day if I don't want oatmeal? Uh, you Do you wanna... have to eat oatmeal every day? <laughs> You don't what have about eggs? Boiled eggs? Yeah, I, I mean, that's like fine. Eggs. That's fine. You, I mean, you always just want to eat something healthy. Yeah. You know, you just don't want to eat But a lot of people anything. don't know what is healthy. Yeah. You, I mean, you want to eat, like, um, you have salads. You mm -hmm. eat some chicken salad, tuna yeah. salad. I mean, it all depends on what, whatever you want. You know, even I read something, and tell me if this is right or wrong or true, you think, Patrick. Never take away everything you like when you're on. I've never been on a diet before. Right. I told you how I've always maintained my right. weight. Right. And that's true, I've never been on a diet, but I just have a condition the way that I eat, right? Uh, because I don't eat red meat and I don't eat pork. Uh -huh. uh, so I eat a little, cause I'm very anemic because of that. I, sometimes I get a pizza, but you know, they don't have that much pepperoni, but it's some. And I try to do chicken livers when they're fried. Right. But they say, and I love chicken livers. They say, never take away everything that you like. Right, when right. you're on a diet, you, give yourself a treat, right? Because right. then it becomes nothing to live for. That's right. You always, I, I always tell my clients, I give you one cheat day, mm -hmm. one cheat day, and that's a week. So you. Pick, oh, you do have one a week. Yeah, oh, one, that's not one bad. cheat day a week, and you pick that day, <laughs> and you can, just go from there. Well, the whole day, I can cheat. Not one cheat day meal, I can eat. You, the whole day. The whole day. The whole day. So, so they as, go crazy. So as time go on, like. Like as months go on, okay, I'm gonna give you one day a month. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you go from one week. Oh, like one as they learn week. how to right. do it. That's do right. you believe in fasting? My mother used to fast yeah. all the time, and yeah. I know it's religious. It's good in the Bible to fast. I can't fast. Okay. Uh, if you, if I can just eat water and some fruit, it, and and I guess that's still fasting. But I have a bad stomach, and it tends to get acidic if I try to fast. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Well, yeah, fasting is good. I know they say yeah. it's good to clean yeah. you out. That's right. That's right. But I, I am, I'm just, uh, so you, how many days do you fast? Uh, at least twice, twice a week. Twice a week you don't yeah. eat? I mean, I eat, but I mean, I eat certain things like fruits. Okay. Drink some water. Now, if I can eat vegetables, I'm okay because okay. then my stomach doesn't mess up, but that acid in the fruit messes up my, my stomach. Because I've had food poison about three or four times. Yeah. So maybe that's why my stomach is like it is. I right. take uh, probiotics. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Food yeah. you take some too. <laughs> um, so what else would you like to tell the people before we get down on the floor and you have me doing some hard work here <laughs> I like to tell them just come give me a try um, like I said I'm at 3103 Monterey Drive inside of Spectrum Fitness my name is Coach Pat just come see me Coach Pat is what they call you Coach yes, Pat and, but your business is inside there right inside. and that's where you train people right. inside my, there. Bi my business is inside of Spectrum Fitness uh -huh. Iron Iron Mobile Fitness and they allow you to have your own business is that the right. way the physical trainers do in there yeah. it's their own business yeah it's inside. my it's my it's, it's um, my own business inside of Spectrum oh, Fitness oh that's good uh -huh. yeah. now did you ever have the fitness before 
Any other place? Yeah, I had I had a, um, another building before I um, went to Spectrum. Uh huh. Yeah. But so let's let's say if people come into Spectrum and they tell them they want a physical trainer, would they automatically send them to you? Right. Or how do they? Is, right. Are there more than you in there? Is what no, I'm, I'm wondering. No, I'm the only one. Oh, you're the only trainer only in there. I'm the only one inside of Spectrum. Well, you just rent space from them. Right. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. That's good. That's yeah, I have a, I have my own. That's area. easy to get people then because they're coming in anyway, right? Right. Yeah. That's right. That's and right. So they're coming to the gym already. Uh huh. That's right. I think I was at a place once, but I thought. It was it wasn't the Y. It used to be up there in Perkins Row. It was another name than it. It, it was Bally's, I think, before it was L.A. Fitness, and I think those guys in there worked for Bally's. I think okay. whatever the fitness was, they, it wasn't their own business. I think. Okay. Yeah, but I I uh, am a firm believer now in getting you a physical trainer, and yes. and uh, just as I said, it's only been about two weeks. This will be our third week, so. Uh, my session is here today on television so uh, to show people because I was so impressed with Patrick. I wanted to make sure that everybody else would start getting, you know, getting him and getting a, a physical fitness. You know, if there's something you can afford and something you want to do in your life to make your, you know, make yes. yourself better. As you know, my goal has always been how can I be better? That's every right. day, because I tell people I'm fighting old age every day. So, uh, <laughs> you know, as, as when you're born, you're you're fighting death, right? The, the, right. the minute you're born, you're you're fighting, because uh, your body. Yeah. I was talking to Attorney General Jeff Landry. Yeah, inside it's a fight in the body. You know, the the white blood cells, the good versus the evil bacteria that's right. in the body. That's right. Everything in life. That's right. Oh, that's right. Democrats don't don't like, but the council culture doesn't want you to use the word fight. But everything uh -huh. in life's a yeah, good fight or a bad <laughs> fight, right? Um, so what else would you like to tell them? What about sleep, water? How much water oh, yeah, do you, you want, recommend? You want to be able to get enough sleep, at least eight hours of sleep mm -hmm. a day. That's what you want. Most important, get your rest. Get your rest, especially after <laughs> Don't you sleep out. on the wrong side like me. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about at, at Spectrum? Do they have, like, massage therapists there, too, or how do they no, do that? No, they don't. They don't have massage therapists at Spectrum. And you told me that you're thinking about expanding your horizon. Right, right. Tell, tell yeah, um, what you're going to be able to offer. Um, I, um, I, start, I was going to start going to school. I just, as of now, I had to work my time out. Mm -hmm. So I have to see if I, um, I'm going to have enough time to be able to go to school. Because you're pretty stretched. Massage because therapy. massage therapy school is in the daytime, I think, isn't it? It's all day. All day. They don't have online stuff. No. and Or at night, huh? Because it's 18 months, isn't it? I, I, had, 18, I asked 18, one of my, yeah, 18, my massage therapists once. 18. That's and right. how, I wonder how are they back open doing massages after COVID? Do you know? I, I don't know if they open, but I know that mm -hmm. the school has started. No, the school has started, started back then, up. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Started this started this month. So get eight hours of sleep, drink drink uh, eight glasses of water a day. Right. Is what they're saying. That's right. Now, would a little person like me drink the same amount of water you would drink, uh, or yes. uh, someone still, six two? Still, is eight for everybody? Still want that water? Still want that? Body yes. Size? Yes. Oh, still right. want okay. eight glasses. Eight or more, huh? You can drink right. more if you want. The more, the better, right? That's right. To clean your That's system right. out. Yeah. Because what is it? Uh, what is it? Ninety percent of our bodies are water, or That's is it right. 80, 80 or ninety percent yeah. of the bodies are water? Nine. Just like eighty or ninety percent of the earth is water. That's right. Come on back to Diane Andrews in black and white. We're about to get on the floor. Go get on your exercise uh, gear, and then come on back, and you can exercise with us right here on Diane Andrews in black and white. back to Diane Andrews in black and white. I told you to get your gear on so we can get on the floor and you all get it done. You can't finish if you don't start. So if you're ready to start, we're going to get it done today. Come on, Patrick. Let's show yes. them what we do. Okay. First exercise we're going to do is dumbbell bicep curls. We're going to do a superset. So we're going to start out with our five pounds. We're going to, super, we're going to do bicep curls. So we're going to curl here. We're going to do eight reps. We're going to put our dumbbells down. We're gonna move to the three pound dumbbells. Gonna do the same exercise, dumbbell bicep curls. Now we're gonna do 12 reps. 12 reps, bicep curls, we're gonna put them down. Then we're gonna move to the two pounds. Gonna do the same exact thing. Dumbbell bicep curls. We're gonna do 12 reps. We're gonna put them down. 
Okay. So how many do I do with the five pounds? I'm gonna do eight reps. As you can see, she's working her bicep. Okay, let's see. I'm finished. Yeah. Okay. Now, what was I you're working come, you on the trophy? What do, was I working? The you're bicep? working your bicep. Right my bicep is right here. This and is a bicep I'm trying to, You know, I'm trying to get this uh, little flap here. Okay. okay. And when I first started with Patrick, I told him I, the things I wanted the most, which would be, Fuji wants to do some exercise too. <laughs> but, uh, he just dropped three pounds yesterday when I had his hair cut, so he, he's in good shape now. I told him exactly, you know, this is one area I want to work out, the back I want to work out, and the thighs. Okay. We're going to do the next same thing, same exact exercise. Twelve ten times? Reps, ten, ten reps. Okay, you counting. That's three. That's four. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Perfect. Nine. Ten. Now, Excellent. at the spectrum, you have these four-year people. Right, the, the right. I already have the dumbbells. You, yeah. you don't have to bring anything. Okay, you're going to come to you two pounds. Now, why do you go from heavy to light? Uh, that's for the reps. The reps, because if you look at it, the reps goes up. The reps goes up as you come down in your weight. Right, okay. Right. Two, three, four, good job. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, that's And he be so happy when you're doing good. <laughs> Makes you feel like you're doing something good. <laughs> okay. Okay, our next exercise is going to be side lateral lunges. We're going to start out with our two pounds. So we're going we're gonna to step, we're going to use one leg at a time. So we're going to come here. We're going to do 12 reps. Side lateral lunges. Gonna put your two your two pounds down, then we're gonna come to the three pounds. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing. Side lateral lunges. Same leg. We're gonna do ten reps. Put your dumbbells down, we're gonna go to the five pounds. We're gonna do side lateral. We're gonna put your dumbbells down, we're gonna do ten. Okay. Start with two pounds, and step to you. There you go. Keep the dumbbells down. Perfect. Five, six, seven, eight. That's nine. Ten, two more. One more. Good job. Okay, okay. you can put them down. I gotta oh, do this side too. Go to your next one. We're gonna come back and do it. Oh, okay. We have 10 reps, same leg. One, two, three, four, five, good job. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, perfect. Okay, you put them down. We're gonna do, go to your five pound. We're gonna do eight reps. Same leg. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. Eight. Okay, now you're gonna switch legs. Okay, start with the heavy or the low? Go start with your head. Start with, the start with your five pounds. Okay. So now you're going to go with your right leg. See how he keeps me on track here? <laughs> That's one. Good job. And he tells Two. me I'm doing a good job. <laughs> Keep me motivated. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good job. So we're going super, to superset again. We're going to superset. We're going to superset. We're gonna do our curls. We're gonna superset. We're gonna curl. We're gonna curl eight reps. Then we're gonna do our kickbacks. Lock your elbows to your side. Call dumbbell kickbacks. Work your tricep. Your tricep muscle here. Kick straight back. Now, which is the bicep? Is this one here? Which is your tricep? The tricep is in the back part of your arm. That's the back part. Yes, and the front is the, the bicep. Front is the bicep. Okay. Yes, 
chest bump. So you lock your elbows to your side and kick the dumbbells straight back. Or kick them back. That's your tricep muscle. Okay, you're gonna put your dumbbells down, they're gonna come to your three pounds. You're gonna do 10 reps, curl 10. You're gonna do 10, then you're gonna do 10 kickbacks. Mm -hmm. Tricep kickbacks. You're gonna put, put your dumbbells down, the three pounds, you're gonna go to your two pounds. Same exercise, curls, 12 reps. Then we're gonna do 12 kickbacks. 12 and 12. Okay. How we doing? Go curl. Do your curls. Then you go palm. Yes, right. Two, three, perfect. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Go do your kickbacks. Got your kickbacks. Oh, my kickbacks. Yeah. See. Lock your elbows to your Why side. Why you need to try them? Bend over some. Lock your elbows to your side. Yeah, that's right. And Two, sometimes if you're at home, you don't three, know if you're doing it right or wrong. Four, he sees what you're doing, five, so he adjusts you. Six, seven, eight. Good job. Put them down. Come to your three pound. You're gonna start out with your curls, your dumbbell curls. Go do 10 reps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Kickbacks. Lock your elbows to your side. That's right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay. Don't forget to stretch before and after workout. Please don't forget, that's most important. Don't forget to stretch before and after your workouts. What we're gonna, what we're gonna stretch today? Yeah, we're gonna stretch, we're gonna do our shoulder stretch. We're gonna bring your arm across your, bring, come, oh, your arm across your body, hold it, yes. Yeah. Nine count, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna switch arms. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna do tricep stretch. So just like you're trying to scratch your back, grab your elbow and just hold it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, switch arms. Tricep stretch. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna do quad stretch. This is your quad right here. So now we're gonna grab, grab your ankle and just hold it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, yeah, I can, after four, I start off, I'm three, okay. two, one. Okay, switch legs. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now we're gonna do gluten stretch. Gluten stretch. Which is here. Hold it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. <laughs> you switch, switch legs. This is the last one, last exercise. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, done. Good job. Okay. Good job. Bye Good bye. Job. <laughs>